Thanks for joining us today. I'm here talking about a piece of research that we did with GSMA Intelligence, along with the telecom team and co-funded by Intel around edge sustainability. Now, as many of us know, most of the data that's going to be created net new over the next several decades, like 80 to 90% will be created at the edge. This is things like cameras, autonomous vehicles, digital twins, so instrumentation that's reading or emulating the real world. This creates a bit of a disconnect because the data's out in the world and our data centers and clouds are somewhere else. So it got us to thinking, how does that change the sustainability story? How does that impact responsible computing? Hence the research. This is the first step. It's a foundational piece of research answering the question of what does it cost to move that data? Now, every year or so, GSMA does a comprehensive survey of telecoms globally. How much power do they use in their operations? Where in their operations? How much data is moved, is created? Where is it moved? Where is it processed? Very, very comprehensive, covers a whole lot of different things. So we managed to cut that data up into some very interesting graphs and conversations. And what we found is if you create data out at the edge, you move it to your centralized data center and cloud process it, send it back. Just transiting that data takes about a third of the power. That's a lot. So now the question becomes, why? Well, we're not saying all compute should be moved to the edge. But we are saying, based on what your situation is, do you have fiber backhaul? That's super efficient. Send that wherever you want to. Are you very close to the cloud? Fantastic, use that. But if you have 2G, 3G, maybe even 4G, if you have copper backhaul, if you have microwave backhaul, depending on what you've got site by site, we can start to make more intelligent decisions that'll give you a longer term sustainable design, architecture. Now part of the challenge is that means you have a heterogeneous edge workload environment. So we're talking about things like pulling in native edge and its near-term ability to start pushing workloads out to multiple environments. The next piece of the research, now that we've answered that fundamental question, will probably extend into things like once we have compute at the edge, what can we do with it? So for instance, if we liquid cool our edge with in-server point cooling solutions, we can start to do heat transfer from that into your inbound cold water feed and preheat your hot water coming into your building. We can put a ruggedized server in the core of your building to passively heat your building in the winter, and then in the summer just open a window, let it run hot, it's ruggedized, we don't care. We can do things like as we use AI to start to quiet down unneeded 5G access points, that means we have a slab of compute that was running that access point that's now available to be leased out to customers as multi-access edge computing. So there are interesting downstream things we can do. Again, foundational research, this is just the first step of several, but it is surprising how much it costs to move that data, and we have detailed research that can give you a little bit more granular view of that that's available to internal Dell folks. We can show it to customers, we can't give it to customers, we're not licensed for that yet. Uh, we can be if we need to. Um, but I can talk you through that. If you need that, please contact me. Thank you.